What's going on, boxing fans and gamers? It's your boy, Fighting His Finest, the silver commentator, coming at you with another Fight Night Champion online ranked match and OWC online world championship action coming at you tonight. Got myself going up against um, somebody who was a little trigger happy, if you know what I'm saying. But that will all come to show itself in due time. Let's talk about this here matchup. And before we even talk about the matchup, Sorry for no uploads for a little bit. I've been sick of the, with the, with the IVIT 19. I want to get uh, demonetized, so we're going to go ahead and uh, not talk about that. But anyway, we're back in action now, and we're automatically looking to get onto the inside, trying to get some good ring position in here. Start off the match by throwing that straight right downstairs to the body. Allowed us to get onto the inside, start scoring them points. And as you can see here from our opponent, he's using that jab, trying to keep me out, but then it's gonna it's gonna start. There it is, you know, there's the first one, but we're able to step in and land that beautiful left hook. And he doubles up on that um that pat in the straight right hand. So nice, he decided to do it thrice, and we come through with a left hook and a straight right hand. Quick, short, compact combo. Go downstairs to the body with a right up cut and a left hook, and the combination up with a head shot up top. Now one of the things I do want to say about these type of players is he's a newer player, and you can tell that. He's one of the people who've been, you know, taking a lot of L's in the OWC realm. So he's doing what I like to call throwing shit up on the wall. He's hoping that something sticks. You know, he's getting an idea from playing different matches online of what the meta is and what is effective. And now he's trying to, he's trying to patent and, you know, work out the kinks in this game by um, utilizing what he sees is working. So there goes another straight right hand that lands, but will come through with a left hook. Now he's trapped himself in the corner here. And you know when you trap yourself in the corner, I'm gonna go ahead and unleash some combinations. Go downstairs with a right uppercut downstairs counter that landed to the body moments ago. Right uppercut followed by the left hook and the straight right hand. And now we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up. Unleash what we got in the combo back for sure. And end up putting them down for the first time tonight. Somebody please. Teach that man some defense, left hook for the win, and first knockdown of the fight. So, already a nice 10-8 round in the pocket for us. Means we're up two rounds to one, except uh, two rounds to zero, technically. But it's a nice way to start the fight. So, go ahead and check him with the corner here and head into round number two. Let's see what it is that our opponent brings to the table. Of course, double jabs and straights, you know. Ain't nothing to it. Basic one twos, you know, whole lot of uh, whole lot of right hands. <laughs> and we're gonna come through with the same game plan as before. Just slowly walking them down, slowly stalking them, cutting off the ring, and finding good opportunities to blitz them and unleash quick, short, comp, compact combos. So double jab followed by the straight right hands. Are not landing at the moment. We're keeping that defense nice and tight. Philly Shell doing his job here in OWC round. But it doesn't do his job there as he's able to sneak in a straight right hand. But not a big deal. We'll get it back with this combo here. That's been a uh, patented combo of mine in this here fight. It's the right up a cup five by the left hook and straight. But he ends up getting a bell ringer state. So at this point, got to slow things down a little bit. We're not going to change the game pan up too much. We're going to still look for opportunities to land these shots. But remember, everything is slower. You have a more of a greater chance of getting hit into that minor um, critical stun or minor stun. So we're definitely taking our time here. We're still finding good opportunities to land those double hooks that landed moments ago and just constantly stalking. Them. It'll be only a matter of time before uh, this goes away and we can get back to work, back to destruction. And there we go. Head is nice and clear now. Was able to land a straight right hand that snuck through double hooks up top again, keeping it nice and basic. We're gonna go ahead and look for these body shots in a couple of seconds. But first, the straight right hand and the head combos, trying to get these points back in blood. And this is with the straight, but we are able to connect with a big power straight up top of our own. And now there's the double jab to keep us out of range. Trade straight right hands up top, not a big deal. Stay close to him and continue to look for opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, a nice counter straight downstairs to the body lands. And now he's out here trying to use that head movement. Now, you know when y'all see that head movement, that means the opponent is in trouble. So now I'm gonna pour it on. Hook downstairs to the body to keep him honest. And he gets out around number two, un not unscathed because that jab at the end of the round definitely stunned. So 
it's right. time for our opponent Three, to make some adjustments or he's going to be end up going to sleep here around number three let's see what it is that he does comes out with the same exact strategy triples up the drive and try to land a straight right hand behind it not really that much of a big deal for us no real damage taken go the jab the range finder out there to keep him on start walking down start trying to walk him down double hooks wasn't able to land we got punched with the straight right hand he i reached he teached he was able to land a straight right hand up top as well now he's starting to throw that uppercut trying to make sure that he we, we don't walk here for free so he doubles up the right uppercut there lands the straight right hand up top and i go downstairs to the bye also landed a good power left hook moments ago nothing too crazy he doubles up with the uppercuts like i said he's really trying to make sure i don't come in free with them forming like uppercuts that wild style just 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 throwing them out there it's like nothing's for free so it's uppercut 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 all day from our opponent and that's not that much of a big deal for us we're gonna come in behind the jab still keep things technical still keep things classy and speaking of classy how about that power straight right hand that just landed moments ago one twos for sure another power straight lands and, and and something unclassy he just goes with a low blow but that just means you're in trouble and if you're in trouble that means the straight right hand was going to do the job is going to do some justice and put you down on the canvas for the second time here tonight so the question is he's got dropped multiple times he's out here trying to go with illegal shots he's trying to survive as long as possible the question is does he have an adjustment and i say not so let's go ahead and uh end this one nice and easy the jab followed by the right hand did connect moments ago stay on the inside back step to uh, the uppercut slow destruction double jab right hand his favorite combo used to put him out one pko rare do i ever get the one pko not that i needed it but you know what i'll take it if you guys enjoyed please go ahead and like the video leave your thoughts in the comment section subscribe and share it with a friend share it on your social medias all that good stuff it's been your boy fighting his finest the silver commentator and i'm off